Kevin Parada seems to have found as bad as his offensive numbers are starting to look good. Will he be a major league catcher defensively? Joe, before you answer that part, I will say I think what he's alluding to, and you've mentioned this on the show, the last 90 days, and Prada has not had a good week, right? His actual his last week was so bad that it's brought this down a little bit. But his last 90 days, he's had a 744 OPS at Binghamton. So Prada's a guy that gets off to these dreadful starts, and then he could have a bad week in there. But last 90 days, a 744 OPS, a 335 on base. Uh, he's hit six home runs during that stretch as well. It feels like the offense is starting to click a little bit for him at the double A level, Joe, a guy that just turned 23 years old. Where does he stand defensively? So I will say Kevin Parada, I think he still can be a catcher going forward. Throwing out runners is never going to be his strong suit. Uh, He's going to be an offense first type of catcher. But I think the amount of work that he puts in it, and we had Jacob Wilkins on last week's show, and he talked about the type of leader that Kevin Parada has become, which is important from the from the catcher position. And he works very hard, and we talked to him down in spring training. I think the receiving has has gained some ground. I think he's getting better at receiving, framing pitches. He struggled to block balls in the dirt. I've seen some growth there this year. Like I said, throwing out runners, never going to be something that he's fantastic at. Um, But there's a lot of catchers in baseball that are playing on a near everyday basis that can't throw out runners. So I'm not ready to say that Kevin Parada um, is going to be a plus defensive catcher at the next level. But I think he is going to be good enough where he can have a role as a catcher at the big league level if the bat continues to go on the trajectory that it has this year, which, you know, you mentioned the 744 OPS over the last three months, and that's okay. Like, that's not, it's not like he's lighting double A on fire. Capable. Yeah. The offensive expectations for a catcher are also lower, too. So we have to take that somewhat into account. But Kevin Parada is a guy that, He was obviously a highly regarded draft pick and a highly regarded prospect for quite a while in the system. And he's fallen down my list as his, it just doesn't seem like the ceiling that you thought you were getting is going to be there. Uh, But I I still think he has big league potential. And, you know, maybe it's a situation where he is the backup to Francisco Alvarez here. Like that is not what you want out of the number 11 overall pick. But there are guys that get drafted that high that never, ever sniff the major leagues. So it's not the, the worst outcome in history.